It's DDK and I'm back like I never left. Cooking up content like a chef. Shooting videos like I'm Steph. Uh, curry. So hurry up, subscribe, because it's time for us to slide. Throw them C's up. Shout out to the Triple C's. If you're a part of Triple C's, make sure you throw those C's up in the comment section. And if you are not a part of the Triple C's and you would like to be, make sure you smash the subscribe button and then throw the Triple C's up in the comment section. We starting off today and we trying to get paid and pull up with a new Escalade. We got us in order. The pickup location is Lowe's. We are here. We about to go ahead and get this dough. Let's go get it popping like Crisco. Now, we're driving eight miles. We're picking up four items that weighs 350 pounds for $42.93. I'm all out here trying to get this cheese that's gold. Just like that, we are here at Lowe's to get dough and skull. <laughs> Y'all already know we about to skull, baby. Let's get this joint ready. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I have a uh, freight order to pick up. Do you have the order number? Yes, ma'am. 92, 25, 20, 488. That thing was over there taking you up top. <laughs> I wanted to come help you, but you know, I don't know if I come back there. Did you want a printer receipt? No, I'm fine. I don't need the receipt. Okay. All right. Thank I'll you. Tell All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. You too. She's going to be good. No, nah, I'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Y'all supposed to be helping her. Y'all trying to help me? <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good one. This is a lot of stuff, baby. They don't weigh that much, though. So, I'm going to these on in here. And just like that, y'all already know what's up. It's time for us to go go ahead and get these bucks. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the drop-off location. We were here yesterday, baby. They might have to open the big door this time, because guess what? <laughs> We got a lot of stuff. Hello? Hey, how you doing, ma'am? I have a drop off for Amanda from Lowe's. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need the big door open because it's a lot of stuff this time. So what do you guys do here? We're on uh, reconstruction. So oh. we fix houses that have been affected by fire and flood. Oh, really? Yeah. So it is actually the next day. Yesterday went absolutely terrible. We're going to talk about that, but first we have to talk about the order we did yesterday. Now, that order previously was for forty-two dollars and ninety-three cents. Again, it did weigh three hundred and fifty pounds. If you haven't watched my previous video about the freight app, they do sometimes forget to put the unload and load fee in the order. So. Because we had to unload 350 pounds, we got an extra $12.75, which equals $55.68 altogether. Now, let's get into why yesterday was terrible. Yesterday was terrible because we only made that $55.68, and we was out for about five and a half to six hours. It's been kind of weird this whole week, baby. Like the whole week. Like Monday we made four fifty. Tuesday we made thirty two dollars and forty cent. Wednesday we made six hundred and fifty one dollars. Yesterday we made fifty five dollars and sixty eight cent. And now we are on Friday, so we do have a load that we're about to pick up right now, though. So we're starting off pretty good. We are driving seventy four miles altogether, thirty eight empty miles, thirty six loaded miles. We are picking up four pieces that weighs 3,000 pounds altogether for $150. I got my game from a scholar. We're about to pull up and pop our collar. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the pickup. Hopefully, we have no hiccups, baby. Morning. Hello. How you doing? I have a, a load to pick up to go to uh, Pleasant Prairie. Yeah, he's picking up uh, Jackson. Yeah, he's picking up Jackson. How you doing? Yes, sir. Hopefully, I come every day. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're picking up. I just 
just got to strap them real quick. Okay. But it won't take long. It's those four tube things standing over there. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. All I'll right. meet you back. All right. Appreciate it. And just like that, my guy Jackson about to pull up so we can go ahead and get buck. You have to drop it right there, and then you have to uh, pull the forks out some. Oh, then I have to pull the forks out? Yeah. So let's check it out. We got everything strapped up. We got two straps. We got one strap right here to hold this close to the, the bulkhead. Then we have one going across over there. Then we have this one. This one is going right around there. And then we have this one crisscross to make the jump it's going all the way over here because we was going to put it in this one right here, but it, it just was a little off. So we decided to go across. And then we have last but not least this one, which goes straight over to the other side. Now guess what you're about to do? You about to slide, let's go. And just like that, my guy Mike about to pull up so we can go ahead and get these books. Like, we walk, we all must have been walking. We'll be in Plant Perry, so we're not that, not that far in. another low we're trying to get our pockets on the floor we have two issues though i'm gonna tell you guys this the low is this we are going to drive 145 miles all together 46 dead head miles 99 loaded miles for 250 bucks if you hate so what now this is the problem the first problem is guess where we going we are going to the airport i know i know i know y'all tired of me have to go through this going to the airport i'm tired of it too let me tell you guys how this works they do not tell me exactly where the pick up and drop off location is they only tell me the area they say chicago and then you drop off in uh pleasant prairie wisconsin so that's all i know they don't tell me the exact addresses so i really don't know if i'm going to the airport or not they don't find i don't find out anything until after i already have won the bid already then i find out i have to go to the airport number two terrible thing that's going on is guess what 
They don't have a BOL. They have no paperwork. They have no nothing. And I have to go to the airport. I know for sure that when I get there, they're going to ask me for the paperwork so we can make that paperwork. So comment below and let me know what would you do in this situation. Time for the star skating, not debating. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the airport. As you guys can see, it's already a disaster, baby. It's trucks and vehicles everywhere on this zone. And I don't got the BOL. So we're going to see employee entrance, customer lobby. Let's go over here. <laughs> this could be a disaster. Let's check it out. See what's going on. Sir, you can have a seat. We both have uh, customers right now. We're going to call you on your time. Okay. Two thousand years later. Okay, so I got a situation. I don't have any paperwork. Uh, am I supposed to have paperwork for? Yes, you do. You can have physical paperwork. So is, is this over with? I got to And if that's someone to print it out, we're not allowed to print it out they, they didn't send me no BOL at all. They didn't, you're not doing a BOL. You need to, um, are you picking up a truck or I'm picking up. Okay, so you need a delivery order or a permit to transfer. Delivery order or permit to transfer. Yeah, it, um, Okay, that's what I need. Yeah, okay. we need those. All right, thank you. As you guys just heard, we have a huge problem. A problem that I knew we were going to have before we even got here. When I won the bid, I reached out to dispatch and let them know, hey, I need the BOL before I got there, right? They said they didn't have a BOL. So I'm like, okay, cool. Cause I already know when I get to this airport, there's gonna be a problem. So I get there and you guys heard what she said. We need the BOL printed out in order for you to get the freight. And we do not print BOLs out here at this pickup location. So guess what? Then I reached out to dispatch. I let them know, hey, they say they can't print out nothing. I don't know what to do. They talking about some, well, there is a print store 11 miles away from you. You can go there, print it out and then come back. Guess what I told them? Absolutely not. Hey, how much am I going to be compensated for me having to drive 11 miles and then drive back 11 miles? And don't forget, it's going to be traffic, traffic, looking for my traffic. There's a Ford Maverick. So all together, it's going to take me about an hour. Guess they had another say. They said they're going to pay me $30, 3 oh, not 300 not, not, not none of that. 30 more dollars to go to the print store and then come back with the BOL. Guess what? I told them absolutely not. Y'all can take me off the order right now. Well, I ain't gonna play no games with y'all. The lowest I'm going is an extra hundred dollars. If y'all wanna give me no hundred dollars, I'm not doing it. Take me off right now. They said, you know what? The, the manager actually called. He said, you know what? We have to resolve this issue. We know there's a problem. We should have everything situated before we sent you there. So yes, I'm going to give you an extra hundred dollars. So now we are about to run and go to Walgreens so we can continue to get this grain in between. Let's go. Just like that, we are back with the paperwork. Hopefully we can make this paperwork. Hopefully I don't got no attitude this time. Hopefully we can get in and out, baby. I'm back with this paperwork. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. So where I'm supposed to go? Um, did you park? Yeah, park right here. Where? Do you right need? here, in this van right here. Oh, okay. Go in here. Yeah, so go out the way you came and then just make a sharp right. It's a great door. That's the warehouse and you just get into the workplace. If you do you, you don't need a dock though? No, I got a van now. Okay. And they just gonna bring it out right around no. here? No, they gonna they gonna they probably give it to you in the warehouse. Okay. Just give them that paper. Alright, thank you. In the warehouse we go, baby. Kind <sighs> of walk into another waiting line, huh? Sheesh. Two thousand years later. Yeah, I want to between the wheel wells. Go to your right a little bit. All right, we do it right there. That's right in the middle. Keep going. All right, I'm going to back up. Jeez, that joint heavy. <laughs> that joint heavy. Keep coming. Dang it, you know the work we did that. Keep coming a little bit more, if you can. Right there, we good right there. 
This joint is super heavy. It's time for us to get this money and hopefully it stays steady. Let's go. And just like that, finally, we are done. We might think I can fuss. It's actually the next day, baby. Now, it took us 11 hours and 30 minutes to make $500 yesterday. So, we did kind of have a crazy week. We had $450, then we had like 30 some dollars, then we had $651, then we had $55, then we had $500. It's kind of crazy how high up and low down it went this whole week. I don't know what's going on with the market, but it is what it is, baby. We're gonna go out there and get as much money as we can. We're gonna go out there and get them bands. I hope y'all understand. Now, we also do have something that we did add to the van as far as equipment goes. We actually purchased the printer, but the crazy thing about the printer is, the printer was at the house. It had just came in from Amazon while we were out there doing that load, so we could not use the printer. So we gotta get it set up and everything, and we will show you guys all about the printer and all that stuff coming up here very soon. And we also do have a, lot, so a few more surprises for you guys coming up on the channel. But all in all, it was a crazy week. What I learned from the airport run was we definitely need that printer. And they need to have the BOLs ready. And if they don't have the BOLs ready, we're gonna keep on charging them every time they don't have them ready. But we're gonna have the printer right here so we can uh, print that joint out and go out there and get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up and like it tomorrow because it's going back down because we ain't playing around. It's 2023, it's big bad season. We'll keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We go, we go, we flew you already know in the DDK. And I'm on my way. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, before you get off this video, Throw them C's up. I'll see you guys on the next one.